<clears throat> What's going on, guys? It's your boy, DJ Otto, here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm chilling out because I'm bringing you guys another YouTube video here today. Today, 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 we will be working. I know, I know I'm a little late on these two DLC weapons. I promise you, I promise you, I got them gold and polyatomic, I think. I think. Anyways, I know I'm super late on the new DLC weapons for the season because there's only nine days for <laughs> season three left when I'm recording this. And, um, yeah, it just, you know, your boy got busy, you know, like, you know, with work and then, and then pre-recorded the videos and went to Toronto to go see the boys get smoked and then see New York win. I've been very busy. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I really want to apologize. But with that said, when season four comes out, I for sure try my best to get those fucking guns like done right away as fast as I can so that I could post them and put them on YouTube and I put them on the internet for you guys. But anyways, if you guys don't remember at the beginning of season three, we had two new DLC weapons. Give me one second here. So it's the F Tac Siege and the uh, like, basically, basically the Desert Eagle, but fully auto. So that was interesting to get, and it was really fun to use. But with, with that said, today I will be using the F Tac Siege just because it's fuck it, why not? And then also before we start, I do want to say I am glad to be back home from Toronto. I am glad to be back from. The CDL event, even though I do really miss it. It's been over a week that technically I'm home from the event, I guess you could say. But uh, honestly, I miss like going to the event. You know, I miss being there and stuff. But yeah, no, hopefully you guys did enjoy the vlog because I surely did enjoy making the video and also enjoy going there. If I had my passport and everything, I would have definitely went to Vegas because I do have like a good amount of cash saved up just for a rainy day. That's how my brain works. Like I don't like to spend too much money, but when I do spend, I fucking bam, hit the fucker. Take example, let me talk about it, hit the fucker. Here you go. Yeah, Um. guys won't believe how much this controller cost me. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I play with scuffs. I really enjoy the scuffs. Okay, so this is like, I know I don't have a PS5, but I do game with my PS5 controller on the computer just because I might as well spend it. But yeah, no, I, I tend to love my scuffs, a lot of my scuffs, you know, like I got like four or five of them, four or five of them are broke besides this one. And then I think I have one over there who hasn't, hasn't broken yet. And yeah, won't be broken because I won't really use it. Anyways. I, I went to Toronto to go see the boys play and get at least a signature from, from scump. Um, but sadly the lineup so Sunday they had like a meet and greet type of thing at 12 But the doors only open at 12 30 and also I'm only at the GA bowl basically a general um, Anyways the door I I wouldn't be, I wasn't able to go in 30 minutes early to get the signature So unfortunately I'm like fuck that fucking sucks because I really wanted to get that jersey behind me signed uh, from scomp and the boys and uh, Yeah, no the the fucking lineup was crazy and I couldn't meet it and then also I was a little frustrated that like why didn't you guys just let open the fucking doors at at least 30 minutes early on the Sunday? Like, like I don't see the fucking issue, but, uh, but yeah, it fucking blows. And also like, I sh yo, I re honestly, I regret not getting like, you know, the boys, you know, the team, Optic Texas team, um, signature, but that's okay. Next time I fucking know, next time I'm going to no be no bitch. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that. I got a signature on his fucking controller because I did some investigation uh, when I was watching Seth's stream the uh, couple of days ago that he's, uh, uh, yeah, a couple of days ago. And I'm like, wait a fucking minute. He's promoting the, that same controller, but with no signature. But I knew for a fact that he has one with signature. Like he did it like a digital signature and it does not look anything like this. So in my head, and I'm going to fucking take with it. And I'm fucking happy that I got a signature without meeting the fucker he's not a fucker but without meeting him and look how right i'm getting like it's fucking great like it's awesome but anyways less of the toronto oh yeah by the way i didn't tell you the price that the price of that controller like 500 bucks but <laughs> it's fucking a lot it's fucking a lot like crazy but like i said i'm gonna score with my money i like to save my money as much as i can why i just being uh poor does that i guess to you or to me at least so like in my head i'm like I don't know what happens going to happen tomorrow, so I gotta save up my money. But anyways, I'm trying to work on that because what if I die tomorrow? The the money in my bank account won't be there anymore. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna be poof, gone. Um, but anyways, on that topic, we're gonna play the F Tax Siege, uh, to get that shit, uh, Orion. And then after that, the next video is gonna be that Desert Eagle. So with that said, I will see you guys on Modern Warfare 2, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys my class setup and how many more headshots I need for everything. So see you guys there. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are finally on Modern Warfare 2 here. I made a class setup. I needed to go check on YouTube what class to make because I know it's been like 20 days. I haven't really like played with the gun and I didn't know if they updated the game. Patch this or nerf this. Not patch. Nerf this or buff it. But apparently it's still fucking broken. So this is the class setup. That would be rocking. But yeah, I'm going to shit on some kids. But with that said, I thought I needed 25 headshots. I only need 20. And you know where we're going, man. We know where we're fucking going. We're going to fucking baby ship me here. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video. So see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have finally found a game on shipments here. Honestly, I was loaded in for a shipment game and uh, they brought me into a grand game. I'm like, mm -mm, not playing that bullshit game mode. Uh -uh. It was fun in jetpacks, but it's not fun. in. Uh... But hopefully you guys are having a great day. I'm sure I am. I'm just happy to be home from the event, honestly. Honestly, I haven't played any Call of Duty for like a maybe a fat minute maybe a, like when i came back to the event maybe just that day but besides that i haven't played it since just because no it's not because i'm bored of it it just well i guess i am a little bit bored of it there's not much i could do right now honestly like i, I pretty much done everything well at least camel wise and rank is not really like okay so there's there's multiple reasons why so like the first reason why like it's because like you know i did pretty much everything and the second reason why like, it's not everything but i did all the camels that i wanted to get done and also like the calling card challenges are a little long which i don't mind because you know it's takes time to do them which i'm okay with it's fucking great that's the point of the challenge right rank play i don't really want to play that right now for one reason that i don't want to solo queue you know i don't want to you know i want to play with the homies when i play rank it's a little easier too if we lose well we lose if not uh, well it's no big deal and then and then for warzone ranked well i don't want to play solos slash with two randoms either just because you know or i play with friends but you know if it was solo ranked yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm fucking down, and I if or if I could uh, build, then yeah, I'm down to do that. But, but yeah, no, that's not the case, unfortunately. And also, I heard, and it's true, is that uh, on Cold War, that hackers, if they want to fuck with you, which they all they all fucking do, could take your fucking IP address, your bank info, like really fuck your shit up. And uh, you know what? I'm okay. I know it's on Cold War, but I heard that it could be on the new Modern Warfare as well. Like the current cod right now and you know what i'm not really wanting to take the chance i don't run into much hackers uh, than most people but if you play more right like the more you play the higher chances you will uh you know get into uh hacker not hacker lobbies but it run into hackers and in, in cod and and i don't want to shit on them or piss them off so i'm trying to stay off until they fix it which i don't think they will Sadly, because they don't give a flying fuck as much as they used to. Sad to say, but very sad to say. Very, very sad. Oh my god, I feel like a fucking bot. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like a fucking bot with this shit. But yeah, no, I'm still fucking trying to recoup from the event. I'm fucking exhausted. I got a great time, but the beds were not fucking comfy at the hotel at all. Like, they, they were bricks, man. Like, they were little bricks. But one game I, did, I have been playing a lot is Dying Light 2. Uh, I bought it like a year ago. I waited until they do cross-platform, which is not looking like they're going to do it ever because you know my friend rock you know didn't uh, have a good pc until now but uh yeah no i'm like fuck it i'm gonna play it and yo it was so fucking hard to start i'm not gonna lie very hard to start because it, i knew the beginning and, and also i lost all the fucking all my shit at the beginning too they didn't save it for some odd reason my progress i think i had like 10 hours 10 11 hours on there i'm back where i'm at so which i'm fucking grateful now it's basically a new game for me. But uh, yeah, I know the fucking controllers are a little weird too over there. Like bumper jumping and shit instead of A to jump and shit. But it is what it is. I mean, I'm enjoying it. Honestly, I can't like, I can't stop thinking about it. Like after the, the recordings I'm going to do today, I'll be definitely doing that. Dude, I'm I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking exhausted. I got to bring my car to the shop today as well when I'm recording this. I just got to put my summer tires on. Well, let me explain a little. I, uh, before winter hit, hit in Canada... In Canada, eh? I got some new winter tires, and uh, and I told the guy that I want some new winter tires, but some new rims, and an oil change, and then something else, or some shit like that. And Cocksucker, and uh, to be fair, I did call it the last minute, I just, I just but uh, Cocksucker did not put anything in the system, just in the system basically saying, I'm coming. That, that That's pretty much it. And I told the girl at the, when I got there, I told the girl, I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm here for uh, some new rims, new tires, and oil change. And the girl's like, uh, you're not fear for the tires i'm like yeah i, I call for the tires on the rims 
So I got some tires that day, but no new rims because they didn't have the size I have. Like, you know, it's fucking stupid. Like, really fucking stupid. So they use, like, not the old rims. Like, the rims I got, basically, I have on my car already. It's just, you know, it's, I'm just excited to, you know, get some... I got summer tires already. I'm just excited to put my summer tires on and some, like, good rims. Like, newer rims on there. And I don't have to worry about my winter tires because the last couple days look plus 30 and shit. And it's not fucking good for the tire, the winter tires at all. And I know that it's stressing me out a little, but yeah, no. I'm just stoked about it. It's going to cost me a couple hundred, but... It is what it is. It's for my safety, my car's safety, my tire's safety. Longevity for my vehicle, too. A good old challenge won't, it doesn't hurt either. It's, it's, it was due anyways. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm very stoked about it. Very stoked about it. I'm trying, trying to get some energy here, boys. I'm just exhausted. I'm just shooting a little. There we go. Oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I don't know how many headshots, honestly, I got this game. I think I got like four or five of them, but that's... Yeah, I say that. I say that all the time, but we have more, so... Ooh. You gotta get on, man. You gotta fucking get on, nerd. One thing I should do, I should try to record it some uh, COD PC again. See if that fucking works. Oh, that's a shotgun. That's a fucking shotgun. And also, I gotta pick up. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Spawning behind me. Oh, it is a shipment, but still. Yo, yo, I am. Think about this the last couple of days I'm working, dude. I, I've been, like, really craving to vlog and do some stupid shit. Not daily vlogging, because, you know, I don't do much as daily vlogging. But I, I'm, like, I really want to do some vlogging stuff. Like, I don't know what to do, honestly. Uh, there's not much I can do outside my house. Uh, just privacy, privacy reasons. But uh, I do want to, like, travel or I want to do some stupid shit. Not stupid shit, but cool shit. Change it up. Change change the pace up a little. It's not because I don't like to game anymore. I love to game still. I love to like come home and just pick up my feet and, and fucking game. And not think about anything. But uh, anyways. So this is game one. 38 kills. I feel like I did not get 38 kills honestly. Um, and I wasn't really fucking trying either. I was just shooting and talking honestly. The whole fucking time. But yeah. Now let's see how that goes. So I see you guys after the game. All right, so domination here. So I don't want to back out of this game, but let's see how many headshots I got that game. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way I got 13 headshots that game. There, it's either they're not counting in the kill feed or they're not counting in general. There's no fucking way I got 13 headshots. I'm not bitching because you know I got it. Like cool, fuck yeah. So that means I need like what seven more headshots <laughs> with this F tag and we're fucking done. Uh, but yeah. Let's get it, right? Let's get it. <laughs> and I'm almost level 650. I should play more to get level 650 so that when a new season comes out, I don't have to worry. So seven more headshots, which is awesome. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, like Six more headshots. Oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I dolphin dove. Dolphin dive, and I saw a toxic to my lift. Ew. Ew. Oh, that kid just shit on me. Let's see this. Let me see this. Okay. It was not that fancy. I just... He, he just shot straighter, I guess. Alright, boys. Come on. Five, uh, five more headshots? Five more headshots there. You little bitch. Yeah, I gotta definitely play Call of Duty a little bit more. I feel fucking rusty. Like, I feel like slow as molasses here. So, thoughts on the new Call of Duty MW3? <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't really have no thoughts right now for it. I'm just... Let's see how it goes. I'm done with hyping it up every year. I think, honestly, this is going to sound fucked up, but I think they use this for fucking beta testing for a whole fucking year to master it for next year. If that's the case, it's kind of smart, but kind of bullshit. Like, kind of bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, give us a full game release. The game doesn't have to be fucking perfect, but give us, like, no more minimap. Dead silence so that we could, like, def you still hear the footsteps, but not as as bad as it is now. G give us no more spawns, decent maps. Like, at least decent maps. And if you want to have competitive, well, you know, do some good maps for competitive, too. If you get that, all that, those things I said uh, in the next COD, the next COD is going to be goaded, you know? Like, it's going to be good. You know, and and also like I wanna like I want three uh, three meta guns, if that makes sense. 
You know, I want an AR, I want a sub, and then I want a flex. So I want a gun who's a, at least a flex. With that said, I think I'm like one headshot off. Holy shit, this kid's drop shotting like a motherfucker. But yeah, no, you know what I mean? I just want to go, like, this is an okay Call of Duty. Is it the greatest, greatest Call of Duty ever? No. Not even close. But, does it feel my satisfaction? My fat is satisfactory? Or some whatever the fucking word is? Yes. There you go. I did it in fashion too, motherfucker. On Sauce Daddy 2. Oh my god. Alright, you guys know what the deal is. When I get the headshots done, we're going in a private match to see how it looks. Right, so I see you guys there. Yeah! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have finally arrived at the end of the video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment below. Uh, what was favorite part of the video? Mine was honestly, I, honestly, I don't really have one. I, I've been just chatting with you guys the whole time. I think that was my favorite part, to chatting with you guys. Um, but yeah, honestly, I have no else, nothing else to say. I, I just feel really fucking rusty. That's, well, that's what it is. Um, that's one thing I don't like about COD is that, or any game I guess you play on is that like if you play on it and you stop playing for a week or two or maybe a month, you feel rusty as fuck. But I guess that's normal, right? That's normal for being that we're just humans. So with that said, uh, this gun's actually still fucking OP, honestly. Is it the most OP gun that I ever used? No, but is it up there? Yeah. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, please leave a like, comment below, and I, it's been your boy DJ Hot Sauce. I'm out. Peace.